Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial about how to draw a KV2. Let's get into it. First of all, we need a horizon line to help us with perspective and so. I do this for um, every image or comics I do. I never go by eye, absolutely not, no, no, no. To make a KV2, we have to start from a KV1's hole. In order to make it, we just draw a box. And above that box, we draw another box. We have to remember we are in the mighty Soviet Union, so our frontal plate will be sloped. In order to make the chance of ricochet a bit higher, like the salt in our enemy's blood. Then we start uh, adding the suspensions. Let's use the base of our box. We'll add uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sprockets. The transmission on the rear. And in the end, uh, 3 more sprockets on the top. We cover everything in thick stalinium tracks. Let's add then a bit of cover. Then we slope also the upper part in front of our tank. We don't need, need to slope also the sides. The enemy won't be ever able to get us there. Let's uh, reinforce a bit here, and uh, well, in reality, let's reinforce a bit uh, everything on the hill. Then, about the, tu the turret. We have uh, a couple of models of turrets uh, to choose from. One is watchable, it's okay, I guess, and the other one is uh, ugly as heck. Of course, we are going for the ugly one. To start with it, um, we should need some references. Mm. Something like this should work. Mm. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Here. Now let's put it like that so it matches our perspective. Maybe modify it also a bit like this. Et voila! Perfect, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now we can start working on it to make our beautiful KV2 turret. You see how simple it is having the correct reference under it? Now let's add the 152 big chunky derpy gun with his fat mantlet. Now, by Soviet standards, our tank now is perfect. It has his guns, it has his turret, uh, uh, tracks, uh, suspension, etc. But we can add some extras like uh, these rugs in order to, to watch as our turret. Maybe an optic uh, to look aside. Yeah, let's add it also to the drivers because we like to cuddle our tankers. Let's add also a machine gun, maybe a handful against infantry. Maybe also light in order to 
see at night and maybe also a couple of footholds in order to rescue the poor weak alias tanks that came on Soviet land to fight with us. Now we add uh, some other little detail and uh, let's continue this way. Okay, now let's add uh, a bit of background, shall we? Some snowy landscape should be perfect. Let's add some trees. Well, maybe not pines in the Russian tundra. Maybe something more simple like this. Here. Let's also put a little mountain on the back uh, to add uh, a bit of atmosphere. Okay, now we can start to ink our KV2. Let's do a bit of cleanup. Now we need uh, to color the KV2. 
Now I'll show you the method I used to recreate the classic uh, green color on Soviet tanks. We need uh, a colored photo of Stalin, like this. Then we go over a bright part, like here, over the hat. And here we go, the perfect green color for Russian tanks. For the tracks I use uh, pretty much the same method but with uh, black and white photos, like this one. You see I take uh, pretty much uh, where I get the last time, here over the head. And now we have the perfect grey of Stalinian tracks. Now we simply add uh, a bit of snow on our landscape and kiwi tool, also adding uh, shadows and lights and uh, we are almost done.
Wow, I, I was about to forget a very important thing. You can't have the Soviet tank without a red star. Like this. Don't really care about proportions. In the end he's uh, freely drawn by Ivan. Oh, of course, since uh, we are in the Soviet Union, the light for these drawings will be red. Now let's supply the KV-2 with the correct fuel. Yeah, an extra one for the crew. Speaking about the crew, I'd say Stalin is an obligated choice. Rasputin for extra survivability. Can't forget strong propaganda man like also General Winter. Katyusha should be good, and last but not least, the Soviet Union. The crew is ready, the light seems to work properly, like also the whole machine gun. Let's do just a last test, uh, and then we're done. Let's see if it shoots 